I'm Grassi, aka The Pale Puerto Rican, and here's five things you need to know before you go out alone at night in Europe. So, as most of you guys know already, I was backpacking Europe completely alone for 30 days, except for some specific points during the trip where I met up with familiar friends. The first thing you need to know is to always keep your guard up. Just just give me one minute. I need to I need to take this. Hello? Help me. Such a moral, I told him, I Sorry about that guys, I d need to take care of some business. So the number one thing that I would recommend is to always keep your guard up. Remember, you are in a foreign country with people you don't know and no real lifeline for you to back up on in case something goes wrong. So whenever you're out either at the club or at dinner or exploring and it's nighttime, things can go wrong, maybe alcohol, drugs are involved, you need to keep your guard up, you need to be aware of your surroundings, okay? When you're on your way, if you go to the bars, if you're on your way back, make sure you're double checking where you're going and who who's around you, who's behind you, you know? If you can stick in a large group of people, that is well advised, okay? So keep your guard up. Number two, make a connection before you go out. Now, this one is not always possible, but if you stay in something like a hostel, which is a traveler's hotel, then it is very easy to make these connections if you have a little bit of social skills. For example, I was in Pisa, Italy, and I met this Aussie, this Australian guy, who we became very good friends in a very short amount of time, and we explored all of Pisa. Now, that connection that I made with him is a little bit of trust, you know? It's not full trust because I still don't know this guy. I don't know who he really is. I don't know what he does, but we spent the day together. There's a little bit of back and forth, like we're here doing the same thing. So you put a little bit of trust in him. Now, what we did before we went to the bars was we made a plan saying, hey, if something goes wrong, can we contact each other? Oh, is that okay? Is that okay with you? Is that okay with me? We exchanged our WhatsApp number, which is something that everyone should have if you're going to Europe. And we said to each other, yo, if there is anything that goes wrong, call me and hopefully one of us will pick up and, you know, it's just, it's a back lifeline that is great to have. So make a connection. You're in Europe backpacking. You should be able to have some social skills. Number three, have an ice contact. Now, if you don't know what ice is, ice is in case of emergencies. Now, this should pop up instantly in your phone as the number one contact, which you can label it as ice. Literally, label it as ice. It's a universal term that everyone knows for an emergency contact. Now, take that and make that your closest family member, your closest friend, somebody that if you call, send a text message, someone finds your phone, they can contact and then the search can start in case something goes wrong. Okay? It's, it's very important. You shouldn't just have it for Europe, but you should have it overall. Just anywhere you go, have an ICE contact that someone can call on your phone in case you go missing. Numero quattro, or four, is know the general route home. Right, so you're in Europe, for example. Let's say you are in Italy, Pisa, we'll put myself back in that situation. Now, the hostel is about a mile, mile and a half from the bar we go to, which doesn't seem that far, but when you're drunk in a place you don't know with people who don't speak your language, that is terrifying, okay? Your anxiety is through the roof and you get very confused very quickly. So what I recommend is to download the map before you go out. There's an app called City Mapper that you can use to download maps of your location. Don't even need to use service. 
Now, if you don't want to use that, you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, route the way to the bar from your hostel, vice versa, screenshot it, and then have that on your phone just in case you can't contact the internet while when you're trying to get out of there, okay? Like when you're on your way home, if for some reason your phone's internet isn't working, you have the general boom. This is the step-by-step -step instructions of how to get me home. And guys, number five is pretty light. Just have fun. You're backpacking, you're exploring Europe, you're by yourself. Don't worry too much about being alone at night coming home from a bar. A lot of people do it. You're at a bar. Most people are walking home at the same time anyway. The bar closes, everyone goes home, you know? So I wouldn't be too scared, too anxious, too paranoid about it. Yes, things happen sometimes, but a majority of the time, nothing will. Just go out, have fun, meet new people, talk, spark up conversation, and see where the night takes you. So guys, that's all I have for this video. That is the top five things that I recommend doing when you're going out alone at night in Europe. If you guys like that video and continue to want more of these videos, please comment down below. I have another video coming out shortly about other tips and tricks in Europe. So if you have any recommendations, anything you really want to see, please let me know. And on that note, bye.